So I've been using Descript for about a year now, and there were some pain points that I had while I was learning it. And I thought I'd make a really quick video and give you a general overview of it so you don't really feel lost. Because if you're kind of wondering where things are at, there's a little steeper learning curve to it, and I want to explain it. Here's a recent video that I made. There's a couple things you need to understand up front is you have a project and that project is a huge container that can hold a lot of different things. You can hold multiple exported movies from it or videos and those are compositions. So a project up at the top can hold a composition. So I recently did a uh, engraved the new crack, uh, Cracker Barrel logo and I took a couple different files in and I recorded myself on my phone and I went ahead and brought that in right here and I transcribed the audio. So as I am talking, I have a few things that are above it. There is a timeline down here. Now the timeline has my recorded uh, video that I brought in from my phone. It went ahead and transcribed that and put that into text up here at the top. I can, now that it's it's basically transcribed can delete a sentence and the video actually will shorten and clip. I was a little adverse to this, but it's unbelievably powerful. So up here at the view section, we have a bunch of different things that if you're wondering where they're at. So hide script means I'm in this composition and I have a script. The words that I'm saying that Descript automatically generates, it transcribes. Okay, there is a timeline. In the timeline, I can hide the timeline and to bring the timeline back, I can go down and I can bring it up this way here, or I can go to view timeline and turn it on or off. You can change everything. There is a little, I'm using a trackpad, but you can change what you see in the timeline below. But again, I am working in a composition. And so one of the things that I have here is I have these online captions, okay? The way that they're created is once I have a transcript, there is a caption um, tab over to the right side. I choose the type of captions I want and I can put multiple captions and I can drag those to my desktop. So now when I go through, I actually have different words coming up as I am speaking. So I'm gonna hit undo to delete those. So again, a project up here at the top holds multiple compositions and even files. If you wanna bring a file in from something like your phone, all you have to do is drag it to the file and then drag it down to your timeline. There is a layer order inside of your timeline, which means this graphic up here at the top is above the video, this extra B-roll video that I had. And the way that that works is if I were to right click it and go to layer order, I can bring to front or I can bring forward. Right now, no matter what happens, I want my captions here to be forward. I'm gonna delete these captions that I just created, but I want those always to be at the, the top. So in my captions track in the timeline, I'm gonna to go to layer order and I'm gonna to go to bring to front. Okay, so now you understand that there is a project which holds different compositions and your timeline can go missing. And the way that you get your timeline is either drag it up and down or I can bring it up. By default, it automatically hides the timeline inside of a composition view. So under view timeline, I'm gonna to go to hide timeline or bring back the timeline because that is the most important thing is all of your work happens in the timeline. So I'm gonna show timeline. Now, let's say that you created a project and you're done with it and you have a brand new client or a brand new project. You want to see where are my old projects? Well, there is something called your drive, but it's called Ryan's drive for me. And in this little home icon, I can look at all of the files that I've worked on previously. So for instance, here is a one that I did on making a Halloween sign. And I have all of my different files and all my supplemental graphics up here at the top where I put in typefaces. And then I have my caption track um, here at the bottom. 
So now if I had a bigger monitor, you could see that I could see a lot of the different things that are going on. But just like any video editor, it allows you the ability to see, you add different type of media on top all while going ahead and editing your script with the actual transcript, which is in the script view. So again, we're looking at a composition. Now on the right side, there's some tabs and in the tabs, there's something that's called Underlord. And Underlord is basically your AI sidekick for a lot of things that you want to do with your design. You can just ask Underlord and it will help guide you. So if I were to do the AI tools up at the top, I can, I can basically can edit the entire script for clarity. I can do studio sound, which is amazing. It can remove all of the noise and it can make it crystal clear. And once you do that, you can actually edit the, how much of that do you want. You can do remove filler words like um, ah, all those types of things when you say okay and things that you don't want in it, you can remove them and even um, put in natural gaps at that point. You can shorten the times where you're pausing or you're thinking and all these things. You may not think you want to do that, but it may make for a more shorter and concise video, which will go over well getting your point across and trying to do it. You can also do eye contact and you can remove the green screen of, a, of an image, whether or not you're doing a talking head or anything. Go ahead and look at these AI tools. Under properties is basically the properties of that individual layer in your composition. So whether or not you want to change the opacity, the transparency of an object, if you want to scale the object, you can just click drag inside of here or just enter a, a value of what you want. You can crop an image, you can put borders and that type of thing with, with that inside of the individual um, clip that is in the composition. So I'm scrubbing back and forth. You can see that I've added all types of extra video on top. So the big things that I got lost with when I got started were, where are my old files? Where are my old projects? I also wanted to know, know that a project can hold a lot of different compositions. So if I go to the project tab up here on the right, I can see I only have one composition. But if I were to do a new composition, I would go ahead and either record a file, which is just record, and it's going to say, hey, do you want the camera, the screen, or both? And if I hit camera, you can see that I'm bringing up my own self here, and I'm going to just hit X because we're not going to do that. So it created a composition called Untitled. I can go ahead and call that sub, uh, call that composition two, okay? And then I'm going to hit enter. And so now I'm in a new brand new composition. So if you want a particular multiple, a project to have multiple different exports, you would create new compositions inside of it. We also have the ability to, um, When you're done with your composition, you want to edit it. When you're done with your composition and you want to export that composition, you can go up to export. Now you can actually create a link to share, not on YouTube. You can create that or you can do a local export. Okay. It will also let you export to the platforms using the API like YouTube and Podbean and HubSpot and Restream. You can go ahead and put it your video in multiple places. This is really powerful if you want to put something up to TikTok, Instagram, you want to put something up to uh, YouTube Shorts all at the same time. So that is in the export folder. Okay, so again, just to wrap up, projects hold everything. All of your projects are accessed under this little home icon at the top, which is your drive up here at the top. So if you ever get lost, go to that home icon. Once you're inside of a project, it can have multiple compositions 
multiple compositions, and you can have all types of files. If you no longer need a file, you can right click it or look at the sidebar and you can delete it. And if it's not being used in any composition, it, that is a good way to clean it up because you don't want to run out of space. All right, I've linked a couple other Descript videos below that'll help you out here. All right, whatever you do, make something that connects someone. Whew.